This is Tech Pulse, the show that keeps you in step Today with the technological Tech world. Pulse, are you a big one step buff? ahead of well, everybody else. Well, I'm your host, Harvey Reginald Smith. And if you're tired of waiting for your packages on eBay, the show. eBay is bringing same day shipping on the new Nexus 7. Is official before you get the Nexus 7. Nexus 7 is the best thing in the world. Nexus 7 is official before it's official. All this and more coming up today on Tech Pulse. with the technological world while keeping you one step ahead of everybody else. So uh, we're going to get right into our first story of the day. Are you a big movie buff? That's the question. Are you someone that likes to watch a lot of movies, likes to, uh, you know, likes to uh, uh, just be, you're just all in the movie. You know what I'm saying? If you're someone like that, well, we might have a product for you. Might. According to Digital Trends, this is a story coming from Digital Trends. Um, there is a company called Kaleidoscope, or Kaleidoscape, actually. Now, if you haven't heard of Kaleidoscape, well, that's not surprising, seeing that most of their products are general, generally uh, high-end. You know, uh, we can't blame you. Unless you have five digits to spend, then you probably haven't learned or heard about Kaleidoscape the home theater that looks like a 1930s movie palace. Companies' products probably haven't uh, cropped up on your radar because they are so high-end. Now, when we're talking about high-end, their systems start at 15 grand. That's where they start, you know? So, I mean, normally, you're not, the regular consumer is not gonna hear about Kaleidoscape, but if uh, uh, you are someone that has a lot of DVDs, has a lot of Blu-rays, someone that wants to, to, to uh, keep your library growing, but you know, where do you keep all of that stuff? You know, a few would debate that Kaleidoscape is at the top of its field, but we're willing to bet that you can count on one hand or finger the number of people you know that own one. You know, if you ask your friends uh, about Kaleidoscape, they probably don't even know what you're talking about because this is not the normal consumer product. Now that's because getting into Kaleidoscape system has always required you to have deep pockets and minimum 15 grand. However, this new Kaleidoscape Cinema One is priced at only $4,000. Now that sounds like a lot, but not by Kaleidoscape's, uh, not by their standards. And uh, it, it's not cheap, but if you want to get into the movie world, a Cinema One is a part of a media storage, part Blu-ray shopping center, part video player, all wrapped into one sleek, low-profile device. It compiles with DRM stipulations by requiring that the disc be present in the tray when playing back the movie. Though users get the benefit of not having to watch previews, um, FBI warning screens or, or any of that um, pirate type uh, intro that comes in, uh, just hit go and the movie starts. Cinema One can store up to 100 Blu-ray quality movies or 600 DVD quality movies or 6,000 CD quality titles or music and stuff like that. Now, users can choose to download titles from Kaleidoscape's online store. The quality of these downloads is said to be identical to that of Blu-ray discs. Now, normally, you won't get that on a download because download streams are not the same as what you get in a physical disc. But from Kaleidoscape, they are giving you full Blu-ray quality type downloads, so they say. Yeah, of course, you know, it, it um, uh, varies from movie to movie, and it will include any special features, director commentaries, bonus scenes, audio tracks contained on the physical Blu-ray copy. Additionally, many Kaleidoscape's movie selections are available with an ultraviolet copy, so you got a copy in the cloud. So not, do you, not only do you have a copy on your, uh, you can get the Blu-ray disc and then you can burn a copy on your hard drive. You also get a copy of the movie in the cloud so that you can make sure that your movies, uh, you know, you don't ever lose them. You know what I'm saying? Because if something happens to your um, kaleidoscope uh, unit, something happens to it, your movies are gone, but not if you have that ultraviolet copy, which uh, will automatically add to users' accounts for streaming on any capable device. 
Now the back of the Cinema One is outfitted with the usual collection of outputs, including a single HDMI out, analog audio out, coaxial digital out, a LAN port, a USB port to support, and included Wi-Fi dongle for the first, I'm um, a first for Kaleidoscope anyway, because um, they normally don't include uh, any attachments for Wi-Fi dongles. The Cinema One owners can also double their storage and expand room coverage by adding a second Cinema One system, though the two must apparently be connected by an Ethernet cable in such a case. So if you want to add more storage, you can daily chain a, uh, a couple of these machines together. And finally, the Cinema One is the first product that Kaleidoscope will sell directly to consumers. The system will be available through its network of 1,800 dealers at Magnolia Design Center. So Digital Trends has secured a Cinema One uh, for review and they said they're going to review it. And of course, once they give that review, we of course will give you our review of it as well. Now we're gonna show you a picture of this because uh, for those of you that are big movie buffs, you like to see movies, you're all about the movie. This could be something that is worth investing in. And when I say investing in, because it's four grand, uh, it's definitely an investment. But if you're someone that just you have uh, tons and tons of movies in your house because I know people like that. They have tons and tons of movies. They have all these physical discs and, you know, storage is getting to a premium. So where do you store all of these discs? Well, right here. This is the Kaleidoscope Cinema One right there. Yep, that's it right there, the Kaleidoscope Cinema One. If you are interested in, in something like this, and hey, for me, Definitely, if I was a movie buff, if I'm someone that, uh, you know, likes to watch movies all the time, this is definitely a good investment. Why? Because being able to store, um, being able to store a uh, hundred Blu-ray quality, not, you know, DVD, a hundred Blu-ray quality movies, 600 DVDs, I mean, right away, you know, if you have 600 DVDs and you have a um, hundred Blu-rays, then your house is packed. You probably have nothing left in your house. No chairs, anything else, because you have all of these discs in there. So if you want to be able, this is obviously the back of the unit right there, if you want to be able to reclaim some of that space, this is definitely a good investment. Right here, you can put the disc or DVD or Blu-ray in here, burn it immediately to the hard drive here, um, or, and the ones that you download from Kaleidoscope automatically come with a cloud version, the ultraviolet uh, DVD, uh, uh, Blu-ray copy of it stored in the cloud so definitely if you are a movie buff you're someone who likes watching movies and stuff like that at home this might be something that you're interested in investing in now like we said it's not cheap and yeah, it doesn't come cheap this thing comes at four grand right off the bat but it's worth it if you're someone that watches a lot of movies you have a home theater and you're looking for that that extra piece that will give you what you what you need as far as storage as far as flexibility then the Kaleidoscope um, Cinema One is what you might be looking for. So, you know, definitely check that out. Now, speaking of the Kaleidoscope Cinema One, if you order this thing on Amazon or you order it on eBay, chances are you're going to have to wait, you know, the normal shipping times for this thing to arrive. And so eBay is saying that they are willing, not willing, but they are releasing something that a lot of consumers might be interested in, and that's same-day service. Now, remember we talked about this last week on Tech Pulse, where we said that a lot of companies are starting to offer this same-day service to their um, lineup of, of um, abilities that they're giving you, because a lot of people want their stuff now. If I order something at 10 o'clock, it's nice to know that by 3, I can get it even if it's not local. I can get it from somewhere even if it's not local because that's one of the reasons why brick and mortar stores still exist because people can go in and get instant gratification by buying something now. And that's what uh, a lot of people want. So eBay says they're, they're going to bring same day service and they're calling it eBay now to desktops and uh, they prepare for the, as they prepare for regional expansion. Now, according to a report by TechCrunch, eBay now, the same-day shipping service that first debuted for San Francisco residents nearly a year ago before further expansion to San Jose, New York, and New York is preparing to broaden its service yet again with added support from the Bay Area Peninsula, plus Brooklyn, Queens, as well as Chicago, Dallas, 
later this summer, as previously reported um, by TechCrunch earlier. In addition, the company today is launching a PC version of eBay Now for the desktop. Now, according to Di Diane or uh, uh, Dane Glasgow, um, eBay's VP of Mobile and Local, the company chose to bring the previous, uh, previously mobile-focused eBay Now delivery service to the desktop because those who visit eBay from both the web and mobile are some of the company's most valuable customers, according to what they're saying. And it's a given, uh, and in a given week, um, he says that 21% of eBay's visitors come from multiple devices, PCs, and mobile but they make up to 44% of eBay's gross merchandise volume. So therefore, they want to add something to them that will help them, uh, you know, their shopping experience better. Now with eBay now on the desktop, what before felt like something of a niche utility takes on a more, uh, more of the appearance of a fully fledged e-commerce site. And uh, on the, the dedicated homepage, users can browse and search products, you know, just like you always would from neighborhood stores, as well as product information, including description, pricing, rating, reviews, just as they would if they were shopping on a retailer's website directly. eBay now is supported by hundreds of merchants. Uh, Glasgow uh, tells TechCrunch that hundreds of merchants support eBay. So therefore, with that in mind, they started eBay now because they're giving customers the opportunity, they're giving customers the opportunity to not only shop on eBay like they always would, but to be able to get their products now, now on, you know, same day. So however, it doesn't, uh, it does have relationships with several well-known retailers, including people like Home Depot, Target, Macy's, GNC, Walgreens, Best Buy, Toys R Us. Office Depot, AutoZone, for example, even Radio Shack is in there. I mean, uh, these and other merchants make their inventory available on eBay, and eBay shoppers can then uh, shop on eBay and, and in supported delivery areas who can take delivery of that item, minimum order of $25 uh, um, to use this service. You have a minimum order of $25. Um, any area or any company that can support the same day service. In other words, if a Radio Shack in your area is willing to deliver to someone who ordered online, who lives in their area, then you can get that, that order right away without having to go anywhere, without having to, to um, dress, uh, dress up or anything because you would order it from Radio Shack, they would see your order, see your address, and they would send someone out with the product right away. Now we're coming up on a break, but after the break we're still going to talk about uh, this eBay Now service. Is this something that you would want? Is this something that you would uh, uh, like to have? We're going to talk about that. And the Nexus 7 is official before it actually became official. You know the new Nexus 7 coming out? Well, it is official even though it hasn't been officially launched. And Verizon is offering something good for those with the new Droid headset. All of that and more coming up right after this break on Tech Pulse. So just stay tuned. Right there. 